Hello and welcome again to another episode of Let's Go See It. Today we'll be traveling from Maryland all the way to Delaware to the village at Bear Trap Dunes. We'll be here for an entire week and they have a lot to do. They have swimming, golf, they have a pavilion that has a ton of stuff and it's an absolutely beautiful community. We're going to tour all of it. We're going to let you know how much it costs to stay here and what you can expect if you were to ever live or even rent a location. So without ado, let's pack up and let's go see it. So after about three hours on the road, we are finally here. You see the pavilion there to our right. Now, I gotta tell you that if you like really pristine, well-kept, well-manicured, well-maintained, beautiful homes, uh, you're gonna absolutely love this community. It has a mixture of different types of residents, but it is absolutely beautiful. This here is the rental unit that we rented for the week. And I love the color scheme, not only in the main living area, but throughout the entire house. It seems like all the colors seem to match up. It is beautifully decorated. One thing I must say that's a real plus about this rental is that it had literally everything. All the silverware you need and utensils. It's almost like they thought of every single thing. Now this first room we're looking at has four beds. A bunk bed so you can sleep four. And this whole entire villa can comfortably sleep uh, around 10 adults and I believe it also has a pull-out sofa um, it was spacious it was luxurious it was comfortable um, and we didn't run into any problems and it was a really beautiful um, uh, best not only just a beautiful rental but it's a beautiful destination So what you're seeing right now is the pavilion. The pavilion has a lot of different things. It has a workout room for cardio, then it has a weight room, it has a library slash meeting room, it has an indoor pool, tennis courts, um, um, and it has the main pool and a few more other things as well as the indoor pool. So it has a ton of stuff. now. I liked it. It was really nice. The stuff was well maintained. It was clean. The staff was friendly. So I didn't really have a problem except for the cost. It was $40 per person for the entire week. So if you have a family of say five or, or four, you're looking at close to if not over $200. Um, so I thought that was kind of pricey, but it gave you, you know, quite a bit, um, especially if you wanted a break from say going to the Bethany um, beach every day. You just wanted to maybe go to the pool and relax, but it was was, in my opinion, quite expensive.
Now there is a full golf course on property. I am not a golfer, so I never really used the course. Um, however, I did go there and I took a look around and from what I understand, it is a world-class golf course one of the best in Delaware. So if you are interested in say living here or maybe golfing, then this is a great, um, this is a great uh, course for you to do. Um, I think golf courses are usually 18, maybe 19 holes. This has 27 holes. It's not all in one though. So the community is not built around the golf course. It's broken up into sections and you have to kind of go drive on the little path uh, from one section to the next. So. Um, I'm not sure how that will impact your enjoyment of the golf course, but the clubhouse is quite nice. It, you know, it, everything was laid out really well. Golfers got started really early in the morning. Um, and um, when we were there, there was a women's tournament and these women were really into golf and they were just coming through one right after the other. Um, but it's, it was a, it was a uh, it's, I think it's a great golf course if you like that kind of stuff. If I remember correctly, the golf course is broken up into four sections and there are houses built all around all four sections. So if you rented a place here, chances are pretty high that you're going to be backing up to a golf course, which means that you're going to get a nice manicured lawn. This is the back of my, uh, the place that I, the house that we rented. And as you can, as you can see, we got golfers out here and it wasn't, uh, it wasn't a problem. They weren't, they weren't loud. It wasn't an issue. Um, it was just beautiful sitting back and looking at this beautiful landscape. Today is day two of the vacation. Me and my boys, we're gonna head on our bikes and we're gonna check out the neighborhood and we're gonna let you know what we see. As far as the community is concerned, there is probably one word that I would say that really describes it, and that is quiet. It's not loud, you're not going to have kids or a whole lot of you know, young people running around making a lot of noise or loud cars. It's extremely quiet. You can hear the birds, you can just uh, be almost at peace. It was 
not like you were staying in a residential area as much as you were staying in almost like a luxury area. It was extremely uh, picturesque looking at the houses and the streets. They were All the lawns were perfectly manicured and taken care of. You had folks out there in the, uh, as the morning got on, they were walking and, you know, it was, it was, it was just absolutely quiet. While we were biking around, we came across this cat. And we saw this cat on the first day, and we saw it on the last day and every day in between. We called, I called it Grayscale, and my kids called it Grayson. But this cat was the nicest cat. He would come to everyone. He would even come to the dogs. Um, but apparently, everybody knows this cat. So if you visit this neighborhood, you're probably gonna run into that cat. There is a shuttle bus that runs from the community uh, from the community to Bethany Beach and this is one of the stops what it looks like and there are stops dotted all along the community. When we were there the shuttle bus was not operational. That kind of threw a little bit of a kink in our vacation. Definitely recommend calling ahead to the pavilion and finding out if the shuttle bus is running because if you had plans to maybe have one person um, you know take the car and go to one location and another you know, family members say would go to the beach. Um, the shuttle bus, if it's not running, it's not an option. So definitely call it, call ahead. That was probably one recommendation that I'd suggest. By my estimate, many if not most of the houses you see in this video are rented to third parties during the summer who are here to vacation. And most people who are here, they go to Bethany Beach. Bethany Beach is advertised as being three miles away. That is as the crow flies, meaning in a straight line. The reality is this, from your parking space to the the town center of Bethany Beach is 15 minutes and that's accounting for traffic as well as the stop uh, signs and stop lights that you'll have to go through between here and there and if you go you know during the peak time you're gonna run into traffic and then there's parking and walking to the beach which is a whole nother topic but it is about 15 minute drive from here to Bethany Beach which really in the long scheme in, in the big pictures it's not that not that big a deal while we were biking we came across a playground and this was one of two playgrounds that we saw this is the larger of the two the first one is at the pavilion but this playground is, is quite adequate. It doesn't have a ton of stuff, but it, what it has is certainly enough if you have young kids and they want to just uh, do something different than say going to the pool or the beach. No vacation would be complete without having barbecue. And this is my uh, 
barbecue experience. Luckily, the place that we rented, it had a barbecue. And I think that what I did was probably my best work ever. My wife says differently. She feels that I've done better. But um, if you are going to rent a place, um, definitely check to see if it has a barbecue grill because I didn't see any uh, grills that were open to the public. And this here is my sous chef. Let's see how long it takes him to flip over each piece. Mmm. 